Hello everybody, Grace Still Blaze, and we're here with a game for the channel called My Little Blacksmith Shop. No time for BS. So My Little Blacksmith Shop is a game that recently came out. It's received a lot of updates, and I'm really happy about that. This is a very cool, relaxing game. In case you didn't know, it is a game where you run a blacksmith shop. It looks like we have a couple of, uh, couple of things over here. Got some credits in it, and a thank you to all those that donate. Again, the game is free, so if you want to download it and take a play at it, feel free to go ahead and do that. I'm going to have a link to it in the description below. There's a donation as well if you want to make it to the developer. They're doing a great job with it. So here, what you do is you own your little shop here. We have this blacksmith shop where we have, obviously, a place where we sleep, a place where we sell, a place where we can hold things, put stuff together, and then our smelting area, or whatever you want to call this, the anvil, and then the forge itself. For some reason, the forge has a giant red button to turn it on. I think that's kind of funny. There's a little documentation everywhere around here. It kind of tells you what to do as well. You can pick things up with the uh, the right click, and then you can use your middle mouse button to kind of like zoom in and out. It tells you exactly what happens here. So essentially, what happens is you can open up your shop, and you can begin taking uh, orders, essentially. And then when you make stuff, you give them to the people, and you get money, and you can make better stuff. And there's little kind of secrets all around here as well. This isn't just a shop. You can go out into the world if you want to. Uh, you can see there's little dudes walking around back there. There's another house over there. There's a lake around here. There's also little hidden crystals that you can kind of grab and put into your shop. Uh, let's go grab a few of those now. So right here, for instance, here's one of them. Right inside of our, uh, whoop, right there. Right inside of our torch. Go ahead and grab this. We have an unknown crystal over here. I don't think that they do really anything in the game yet. They just kind of look cool. But they do look cool. They kind of light up, and you can kind of put them on your shelves here to make your shop look cool. You can see we've got a couple of things on the shop right now, just kind of wandering about. So, we start off with a little bit of money. We start off with, uh, you know, some grips and some um, some different pole thingies and things like that. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and just kind of sort things out here. Again, just kind of right-click, and you can move things around, then use the middle mouse button to kind of lollygag it about you can hold down the um, the out button as well and kind of like swing things back and forth and whatnot so I don't know we can um, we'll go ahead and put this over here I guess got a two hand grip over here we'll put the two hand grips uh, where do we want to put the two hand grips is there any real place well I guess we could just put the one hand and the two hand grips in the same area we'll just put it on different sides there we go yeah, the one hand grips will be over here, the two hand grip stuff will be there, and then the pole arm stuff will be there. That's what we're doing. So let's go ahead real quick and get our get our copper onto the forge here. Now you can throw stuff too if you hold down and then you press the uh, the other button there. You can kind of toss it. No real reason to do that. I have the depth of field turn off because I hate it. Now watch this. Boom, there we go. And the copper begins to glow. Now a lot of people just kind of start making stuff before individuals even come in. We can do that too. Let's go ahead and open up here. Outside, we can name our shop. And what shall we name yonder shop here? We're going to name it uh, Spoons and Spathas. <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys know me, you may know about the term spoon liquor. And there we go. Spoons and Spathas is ready. Now all we have to do is wait for our first customer. While we're waiting for a customer, if we wanted to, we could start like putting blades together and stuff like that, but I think we'll just kind of let it go. Oh, look at it right there. You can see we've got heated copper ingots now. Got a couple other copper ingots over here as well. Let's go ahead and grab all these and toss these in there. Might as well get all the ingots in there. We want all the ingots to be white hot. Oh, that little sound means we need a one-handed sword. So this, uh, this object down here kind of tells you what you need to make a sword. So it looks like two ingots for a sword. They stick right on your anvil. Lucky us. How, how good that... Oh, where'd it go? Went to the ground. It got cooled when it hit the ground. And now it's time to hit the Z button. So that we can choose blades. Then you can turn off that with uh, hitting Z again. And now we're going to pound this SOB into a beautifully crafted blade. Yes. Come on. Get bladely for me. There we go. And then you can choose different blades if you want. So we can make it look like that there. We can make it look like... It looks like we only have two blades that we can make. Let's see here. Short blade, blade, and a great blade. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and grab it. Cool it off into the water right up in there. Now, this looks surprisingly large. Um, I have a feeling that the other copper piece kind of like ended up in the middle of nowhere. I think it ended on the, uh, on the anvil. We just didn't see it. 
So I'm gonna make one more blade real quick. Let's go ahead and smash this thing out. Yes, that's the sound I'm used to right there. That's the sound of a regular blade. There we go. Regular blade, and how do we want it to look? Ooh, that looks cool with the with the guy right in the middle there. Let's go ahead and cool her off. All right, let's go ahead and bring it over here. Once you're on the table, you need to make sure that you get yourself a grip of sorts and then stick it on there. Now, if you want, you could also utilize a, uh, a guard, and we're going to go ahead and do that. But we don't have any guards, so we're going to have to order some. You can order stuff over here. We're going real slow this time just so everyone can kind of get a look at how you do it. So we've got grips all up there. We've got guards over here, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and order one real fast. We'll go ahead and place this order. And a box literally falls from the sky. And we get it. And then we can put it all together. So now, guard onto the handle, handle onto the blade, and then the blade goes to Stragum, or whatever his name is. There you go, buddy. Oh, it just went right to the ground. Well, what can you do? And now over here is our cash. We get to see exactly what we're making. We made $34 from that. So immediately, we're going to need... We're going to need more stuff, and I think we'll go ahead and buy it right now. So let's get those copper ingots on there. Yes. And let's go grab... We can How much are these? $2? Oh, that's no big deal at all. It says dollars. You'd like to think that it's like gold or something. Let's go grab a couple of these right there, just so that we have them all ready for us. Smash it open. Go ahead and put these guards. Get them all set up over here. Oh, Wily customers. Wow. Uh, pole arm. Okay, so we do have one pole arm over here. Now, for the pole arm, we need a short blade. So that's only going to be one copper ingot. So let's go ahead and put that down there. We, hit, we don't have to change anything yet because it's been all blades all the time so far. And there we go. There's our blade. Now, if we want to, we can make it look like that or like that. But I think we're going to use this one. This one looks pretty cool. Throw it into the water to cool her off. Or I guess, or I guess not if you don't want to. Um, let's go put the blade over here. Grab our pole arm grip and stick it together. Bam! Look at that. And then jab this guy right in the uh, right in the throat there. There you go, buddy. Hope you enjoy your pole arm. Another $38 for us. Oh, yeah, we're going to be making bank a little bit here. Let's continue to get things all sorted out. We're going to need some more ingots. So here's the ingot area. Now, there's a big jump on ingots. You can see it's $10 for copper and then $500 bucks for friggin' tin. Can you believe that? And then it goes up to a thousand. So the biggest jump that we're gonna have to overcome is gonna be the tin. Let's um, we'll get a bunch of these for right now. Oh yeah, we'll get we'll get that many for right. Oh, we no, we don't have enough. All right, we'll grab we'll grab five for right now then. And I think we've got a new person. We need a pole arm, and they're in a hurry. Okay, another pole arm. So we're gonna need another pole arm grip. We already have some white hot ingots over there, so we don't have to worry about it. Let's go over here to the uh, the grip area. Grab a pole arm grip, and you know what? We'll go ahead and grab two pole arm grips because what the hell? And then smash this open big time. There we go. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a blade real fast though. Grab our old ingot, throw it on the forge, and we'll do a different one this time. This time we'll do the starting, the starting blade looking thing. We'll do that one right there. We'll do this one. Toss it in there. Now you can only make the weapons on the table. So we have to go grab our pole arm, and this is kind of why I usually like to have everything all set up. Our customer came kind of out of nowhere there, but that's no big deal. And boop! Whoa! All right, I didn't know you could do that. I thought you... <laughs> Look at the size of the pole arm we made! It's just not a pole arm, it's like a glaive or something. Holy cow! 58 bucks from it, though. I had no idea. I thought... Yeah, see, if you look here, it shows you exactly what you can put on it. It's like a pole, and then the little tiny one with uh, one ingot. It kind of goes through how much all the ingots are. But we used the giant greatsword on that pole arm. Very interesting. All right, let's continue to get everything all sorted out. Gonna get real good at copper ingot tossing, baby. There we go, from way downtown, too. This is all my basketball skills coming into play right here. All right, we got another customer. Let's start the fire going. That's so everything can get nice and hot. And what do you want, sir? A greatsword. Oh, and of course. And I just used my greatsword. It friggin' figures. Um, but that's okay, though. We should have a guard and a handle for the greatsword. So let's go and start putting ingots down. Now, we're going to need three for this. So one, two. I want that one right in the middle there. Three. And we still don't need to do anything but blades yet. Pretty lucky on that. A lot of times, you'll people will want, like, hammers and things, and you'll have to keep swapping back from blades and hammers. There we go. All right, now, we did that one. So uh, let's make let's make a nice plain one this time. Go ahead and toss it in there. Very first shot. Look at that. Look at how that goes. There is a run now if you use the uh, right uh, or the left uh, shift there. 
Uh, we'll grab the guard, put the guard on there, and then the grip. Grip goes on, and here you are, sir. I hope you enjoy your brand new giant ass cloud strife level sword as you flip out going out the door 54 bucks for that as well okay so we're making a little bit of money the only issue is remember it takes three ingots for that sword so we used we used up at least 30 bucks on ingots just to make that one weapon so we're really not making like that much cash when you think about it um i think we will go ahead and start getting some fancy stuff though we're gonna want some fancy grips let's get two of those We'll grab two of those, and then we'll get some, let's go ahead and grab that real fast. And then while we're at it, we'll go ahead and get some guards as well. We'll get, uh, get another two of these just to have them on hand. There we go. Got plenty of money too, so I'm not too worried about it. There's your special delivery. Oh yeah, these fancy grips look sweet. It reminds me a little bit of like a lightsaber or something. I think you get more money if you sell these. I don't know, they just look better though. Right over here. This one dude, are you, um, are you, like, helping the shop out or something, man? Are you gonna go, or? Excellent. 117 seconds. He's just, like, hanging out in front of the shop. Will he follow me? Will he, like, will he, like, look around if I kind of wander around? I guess not. Uh, whatever. You can hang out for now. Alright, so it's telling us that we feel tired, so that means it's time to hit the hay for now. Go back over here to our bed, and it'll be a brand new day. There's a little tutorial over here, too. It kind of tells you, like, what to do, as well as little scrolls that are littered everywhere. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the sack, and then in the morning time, we'll maybe go find out some of the uh, some of the other gems over here. Oh, well, like, well, morning has come. We're back, boys. And if we want to, we could open the shop, but I think we're going to just close it for right now. I decided to head out behind the house. Like I said, there's a little area that you can walk into. It's like the sword in the stone, except it's a giant glaive. But what else would be behind this glaive if we move this piece of wood? Oh, it's another unknown crystal, boys. It's a light crystal of protection. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab this one and bring it back into the shop. It'll raise our credentials with the townsfolk to have magical stuff wandering about. You can see there's all little rock formations in there, have you? Once you get closer to town as well, the uh, like that white fog goes away, which is nice. You could use these... Um, you could use these uh, boxes out here if you wanted to as well to put things in. So this little crystal over here, we'll go ahead and uh, put it right up there for right now. Now we've got two beautiful glowing crystals looking sweet. So now if we open up the shop here, this little our little buddy over here is still hanging around. This is kind of interesting. I wonder if I have to uh, I have to log out and log back in real quick. All right, so brand new day, everything's reset. I think that we're good to go again here. Let's open the shop for the day. Oh, we just had someone spawn in, which means he's going to want some deli- What in the world is this? There's a heated blade just sitting there randomly. Well, I guess that's good. I mean, it's already heated, so if we need to use it for anything, we can. Are all of my little- Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, are all my grips and everything still around here? Tell me what you'd like, sir. I have almost everything on hand. I'm here to pick up that one-handed sword. Oh, are you? Well- I think we happen to have a one-handed blade right over here, it looks like. So let's go grab the uh, guard over here. Whoa! All right. Starting to throw things around. You know how it is. Um, oh, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to calm this thing down. Hold on now. Let's go ahead and calm this thing down. Now, I don't know if this will make a dagger. I don't think it will. I think this short blade counts as a, uh, a one-handed sword, but we're going to give it a shot. So, right over here with the guard. Okay, no, it doesn't. So, we are going to have to make a one-handed blade. No big deal. Got a copper ingot. One of those. One of those. We're going to make sure real quick that we do have blade selected. And let's go ahead and hammer it out, so to speak. Right over here. I think it's, what is it? Five hammers will make us a nice, uh, a nice blade. There it is. A nice regular blade. And then do a little droppage. Luckily, our ever-flowing fountain of water never loses touch with reality. There we go. Oh, oh God. Oh, what has happened here? Where did my blade go? How did this happen? The blade is inside of the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, the blade is inside of the, uh, inside of the wood. Hold on, let me see here. I'll bet, I'll bet if I use some ingenuity, we can get it out. There we go. And we did get it out. And we happen to have a dagger ready in case anyone wants one. One-handed sword for you, sir, right through the throat. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, we leveled up! Cool. So there's a little leveling system. You press P over here to see your character sheet. Uh, different things. It'll tell you kind of what it does if you hover over it. Decre uh, decreases hits on an anvil, increases movement speed, or increases sales price. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the sales price. That just seems like a really good idea. I'd like to make more money if possible. 17 bucks for the sword? Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's go grab some more ingots because holy cow, we're gonna need more ingots. Uh, how much money do we have? Not very much. So let's go place an hors d'oeuvre. Smash that box open big time. Throw the copper ingots onto there with our... Uh, We'll do the classic jump shots for these. There we go. Oh, we got a customer, boys. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get the forge started so that it's all nice and ready. What would you like? A great sword. Got it. Great sword it is. I think we've got a couple of... I thought we had a couple of heated ones around here. Ah, here we go. A couple of heated ones. We're going to need three of these now. There we go. Two. And then the third one. I'm lucky that even on the... Crap. I'm lucky that even on the ground, it still gets heated up. So let's go ahead and smash this thing out. There we go, and there we are. Okay, good. So we're going to use this blade over here. We'll use this blade version. Bring it on in here. Now I'm going to get you a nice, a nice good looking, a nice fancy two-handed grip for you there, uh, Boromir. Put that right over there. Fancy two-handed grip. Please don't go through the wall if you please. And of course, it goes right through the wall. Excellent. That's all right, though. We can, we can get her out. Hold on. Sword in the stone, come with me. There we are. You're in a hurry? Well, I happen to have something for you. There you go, buddy. Go ahead and grab that sword right there. Excellent. Pay up. Pay up big time. 56 bucks for that. Excellent. Look at him go. He's like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Bye. That's really, really, really strange. Um, that guy's going to be dizzy. Oh, we got a new guy. Incoming over here. Do we have enough? Okay, good. I was just making sure that we have enough stuff to make whatever we want. Do we have any one-handed uh, handles left? We don't. So we're probably going to want some. Let's go back over here real quick. Go back to the grips. Want some one-handed fancy grips. We'll go ahead and buy about that many of those right there. Let's go ahead and smash them up and put them where they need to be. Blacksmith's open for business, people. Blacksmith's open for business. Come and get your weapons. Only the finest wares. Only made out of copper, though. If you want tin and, and iron, you're going to have to go somewhere else. Oh, we got a pink-haired lass. And she is moving toward us with conviction. Yes. I like conviction. What would you like, milady? What can what can yonder gray... Oh, pick up the dagger? Well, I just so happen to have one right here. Yes. Excellent. Now, did we get big money for that because we had it, we had it prepared? 36, huh? All right. 36 bucks. I'm not going to hate on that. Got a couple of extra guards up here. I'm actually just going to put these kind of down where they're supposed to be. A little one-hander there, a little two-hander there. It's kind of high. I don't know if I want to keep anything on that top shelf. Maybe I'll keep, maybe I'll keep like uh, finished weapons like there and maybe over here. The only thing is sad is we lost our gemstones, man. What happened with that? What would you like, good man? Uh, one-handed sword. All right, he's in a hurry. We only got 60 seconds to make it. Luckily, we have a whole bunch of heated ingots right over here. There we go. There we go. Now, obviously, this is very, very alpha. So, there's going to be a couple of issues now and again. No big deal, though. At least we know where to find those. Uh, right there. And, uh. And I think those are the only two. Oh, that's right. We have one more like that, huh? Let's give him that one. Oh, there's a... Look at this. Oh, hold, there's a whole bunch of blades we can make. Nice. You get this style of blade, sir. Let's go ahead and put that over there. And let's go grab our grip. Put her on there. And then a nice guard. Grip on the guard. Guard and the grip on the sword. And you've got yourself a one-handed fancy sword. There you go. That's how I... Really? Here, take it. Take it, buddy. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, man, you really got to, like, kind of shuck it through them. And then finally they grab it. So, we lost our crystal. Does that mean it's still here? Okay, it is. Good. So, we do still have our crystals if we want to get them. They just happen to be over there. I'm going to put it right here. It's going to be right next to me, looking all ominous and such. All right, so we feel tired for now. That means that I think what I'm going to do is let's go, let's go see if we can find another crystal. I happen to know there's at least two more lingering around here. At least, are you coming toward my shop? You realize, you realize, I, okay, all right, one more weapon. We'll do one more weapon. Spoons and Spathas will not turn its back on a warrior looking for, whoa, on a warrior looking for something. Give me a great sword now. All right there, buddy, hold on. Oh, crap, we don't have any ingots. All right, 
Let's go ahead and grab, uh, we'll get the three that we're gonna need, and we'll buy some more later. There she goes. Smash this up. Remember to throw your ingots as best as possible onto the forge. I hope that one landed on the forge. Ooh, it did. One right over there. And who? Okay. Make them glow. What is this? Oh, we have a heated copper ingot just laying down there. All right, well, I guess we'll use that one. That's pretty strange that it just retained his heat. <laughs> I guess I should be happy about it, though. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to close close up shop here if we want to go look for the other uh, the other crystals. All right, there we go. So everyone wants everyone wants blades today, man. No blunts at all. No hammers or war hammers or nothing, man. There we have it. And one of these. Don't worry, sir. Hold on. Great swords coming right up. Great. I'm not. I won't fail you. I. Oh man. I'm not. I won't let you down. Okay. Two handed guard. Slibby to do. There we go. And. Come on, come out. There we have it. And there, sir, is your sword. Hope you enjoy it. Please throw the money into the chest. Okay. So let's go ahead and close things right here. Go ahead and close the old shop. Now let's see if we can find another one of those crystals. All right, so right over here across from our house, check this out. We got the purple growing crystal. Oh, it's a dark crystal of fear. Look at the screen. Oh, the screen's flipping out. Are you afraid of my crystal good, sir? Feel it. Feel it pierce through your body. All right, I guess he really didn't care. Let's go bring this thing back over to our shop and make it look sweet. Oh, yeah, now we're looking legit. Hold on, we need to put this a little bit more on the countertop. There we go. That's kind of cool. All right, hold on. Now, there should be another one right by this sweet lake over here. You can see again, that was the house we got the other crystal from. Uh, our homestead property is, like, right back behind that house, and I think... I think I might see something. Hold on here. What is this? What is this right over here? I see something in the water. Yep, it's an unknown crystal. What kind of crystal? It's still unknown. No one knows what it is. Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and bring this out of the water. Maybe something amazing will happen or something. Uh, whoa. Just kind of bouncing a little bit. Nope, just still an unknown crystal. Is there something else down there or is that just like a reflection? Okay, that must have just been a reflection. I can't even go that far. I can't go uh, into the, I don't know, a dam or something over there. I'm not really sure what that is. Let's go ahead and bring this crystal back to our place. And then we'll go wrangle up the final crystal. All right, crystal number three is down. And if you remember, all you got to do is go straight out the back of the property. We got golems wandering around too. I think that's what that is. Look at the freaky thing it has on its head. Oh, we're feeling tired, boys. We're going to have to go to sleep in a little bit. But all we should do here is just kind of walk... Well, almost straight out from the property. And there it is. Okay, that should be the last one. Yep, you can see it right under this this plank or whatever the heck this is. There we go. Let's get tossed out of that. Can I grab this sword? Can I grab any of that? No, I guess I can't. And then our final crystal over here of protection. The light crystal. Yes, there we go. Looking legit, man. There's the four crystals I know about. If there's more, feel free to let me know. So we got two unknowns, a protection, and a fear one. That's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you guys this too. There's a there's a, uh, a sandbox mode as well where you can kind of do whatever you want. So one of the things that they've added over here that you see again, it just kind of gives you a little bit of a tutorial and stuff. So one of the things that looks like they're adding is the ability to get ore. So you can see we can take our hammer bloop, and then a piece of, uh, a, well, a piece of the ore should have floundered out there. Come on, give me that ore. Uh. Now it also says that this might also break the game. Okay, we got nothing there. Let's try this one. Maybe a piece of ore will come out this time. Can I grab? There we go. Oh, look at that. You can, oh, you can grab it. That makes sense. So what happens if we bring our ore over here by the forge and then we throw this on? I've never messed with this yet. We've got some copper ingots already in here. Now you'd have to, you'd have to like make the copper ingot, wouldn't you? Like you'd have to put it in a mold or something, you would think. No, nothing worked over by the forge. Look at this. Mining test field. May crash game. What other sorts of mining things do we have out here? Oh, a tin boulder, an iron boulder, another tin boulder, copper, tin. Do you have any cool stuff? Ooh, an adelite. And more tin, more copper of various types. But yeah, it looks like you can just reach down and grab this stuff. That's pretty cool. Huh. Look at that. You can smash little pieces off. Very nice. No more iron. So how about the iron? Are we able to break this down too? How do you like that? Oh, cooled iron ore. Hold, hold on. This is different. This is different than my other crappy ore. Let's put this cool, let's put the cooled iron ore over here and see if we can heat it up and throw that on there. See, this doesn't even say anything. See it? Like if we click on it, it doesn't say like cool, it's cooled nothing. 
So let's go ahead and do this. What happened? Oh, it turns it into an ingot. Nice. Okay, hold the phone here. So let's go back over here real quick. Let's see if we can make something real fast with some of the cooler material. We'll use this here. We'll use the uh, the Adelite over here. Let me see if I can knock a piece off. All right, there's one piece and then uh, one piece right there. There we go. Those are some big pieces, right? How's this looking? Any, any of these cooled? It doesn't say it. I wonder if it only works with certain pieces. Go ahead and smash this a little bit more. Check this out, by the way. You can grab the boulder and... <laughs> we can throw pieces of the boulder everywhere. Yeah. That would be... Th Whoa. That is, a ba that is a bouncy boulder. Come on now. Give me those delicious pieces of iron. Where's all your cooled iron at? Um, well, let's just... Hold on. Let's just grab another piece and see if it does anything. Now, that one time, we managed to turn the piece of iron into an ink... Oh, boy. All right. Hold on. Hold on now. You go, <laughs> I can't even grab it anymore. Well, that's alpha for you. All right, I put one more piece in there. I don't know if this will work or not. I'm just kind of, I just wanted to see at least the mining portion. I will say, though, like the mining portion kind of works. If the developer can keep moving this in, that'll be really cool if you can go out and find your own stuff. Uh, no. It's, it's hot, it looks like, but it didn't actually turn into anything. All right, well, it was worth a shot. Anyway, guys. That's going to be my little blacksmith shop. If you want to see more, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, there's a free game, so it's a really good way to spend a little bit of time just kind of messing around and making a couple of weapons. Very relaxing. I like it a lot, especially when I play a lot of uh, high-stress stuff in my life. Anyway, until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.